Hey guys, welcome to episode two of my self-commentary series. In this episode, I'm going to be going over my first class championship win against Tommy Dreamer. Yep, that ECW legend, the hardcore icon, Tommy Dreamer. Now, this is something that I was completely surprised with uh, when I got to the arena. Didn't realize that this match is going to be happening, so when I found out, needless to say, I was a little bit nervous. So, I hope you guys enjoy the commentary for the match. I hope you guys enjoy the insight. And again, if you have any questions or if there's any matches you want to see, please reach out to me. Uh, either on here, you can comment below, or you can reach out to me on social media. Alright, let's get started. All right, so here you see me kind of sneaking in. Give you a little bit of a backstory. Earlier on in the night, I won a uh, battle royal to get a contract to face the Clash Heavyweight Champion. Tommy Dreamer, in the same night, defeated Jay Miller for his championship. So obviously, I uh, took the opportunity to cash in and give Tommy Dreamer a little bit of hell. Little did I know that the match was going to end up being a hardcore match. So that's kind of like the backstory. This is the first time I've ever wrestled Tommy Dreamer. Somebody, you know, I, I, <laughs> I'd watched growing up. So it was a big opportunity for me. It was a hell of a busy night, but it was uh, something definitely worthwhile. All right, just waiting for Tommy to get up on the cell. And, I mean, didn't get a huge rotation on him. He's, you know, a bit larger than me. I wasn't as strong as I am right now. But this is a big deal that he kicked out of one of my finishers. So, obviously, this is going to make me work a little bit harder to put him down. But, I mean, the fact that I was a actually able to give him the JMKO, is <laughs> it was a really cool moment for me. All right, so we got a kendo stick. We got a chair. We got a trash can. Let's see. Do I have any other weapons? Oh, my fists. All right. There we go. All right, now I feel terrible for this, and I'll explain why in a second. All right. I hit him with a point of the trash can, which... In hindsight, I should have rotated this trash can. I didn't really think about it at the time. But because of that, I busted him open the hard way. And he was bleeding pretty profusely because of it. I apologized to him endlessly after the match. But um, yeah, that was one of those uh, moments that was kind of unscripted. Um, got some good color, at least. And his professionalism, he was completely fine with it. Um, he was... Uh, he said it wasn't, I mean, it was a big deal to me, but to him, obviously, coming from the background that he came from, it wasn't as big of a deal. Um, still doesn't change the fact that I felt extremely horrible about it. So, Tommy, if you're watching this, I still apologize for that. All right, whispering a little sweet nothings to him. Also secretly apologizing. True story. The Battle Royal earlier on in the night was about 45 minutes, and this match, I think, went about 10 to 12. So I had, a, like I said, a very busy night. I was extremely sore the next day, but again, it was all completely worth it. All right, time to get a little bit of separation. Anytime you can get a breather in a match, it's best to try to get a little bit of separation. Obviously, you want to stay on the attack, but it helps just allow your oxygen to come back. Big old drop kick in the corner. We'll see if that keeps him down. Nope. How am I not surprised? Yeah, that look of frustration, that was real. <laughs> At this point, I was just like, all right, uh, super tired right now. If I could take a nap, probably would. Obviously, uh, 
fans are not going to pay to see that, so no naps for me. All right. Going to the top rope. If you know me, you know exactly what I'm about to go for. And miss. Knock the air out of myself right there. I was actually kind of glad we were able to get, like lay down for a second and just collect ourselves because I normally when I do that and I miss, I'll get my arms down in time so that way I don't have to hit my stomach. But my feet came down first a little bit and it kind of propelled me forward to hit my stomach. Knocked the air clean right out of me, so I was like, all right, <laughs> let's take this time. All right, Tommy coming back. Big boot. Knocking me silly. That's what I call my drunken walk. Boom. Big lines. Big power slam. Got to give your classic 10 punch. And nice little kiss on the forehead. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Big elbow. Yeah, I kind of went over the turnbuckle a little bit on that. But hey, it looked good. happening no 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 oh. oh okay there's no protecting that at all so uh wasn't the most comfortable moment for me I still feel it occasionally That was a fun little moment for me. I was excited to have a part of that. Got a little ECW chant. Hell yeah. Blocked the DDT. How about that? You didn't really see it too much just because of the camera angle, but when I leg sweeped him, he fell on top of the chair. Um, couldn't have been a comfortable bump for him, but that's why I pinned him after that. Because uh, he kind of hides the chair when he lands on it. What is going on with this zooming right now? These extreme close-ups are making me nauseous. Alright, so my track history with chairs is not the greatest. <laughs> um, you'll probably see why again in a second there's going to be another moment where it's going to prove that theory. But, uh, yeah, chairs and me don't get along. Unintentional! But it was so awesome to be able to take his finisher and to be able to kick out of it. The fi That was such a huge honor for me that he uh, allowed me to do that. So I, I, that was a big, like, I, I, I can't even put into words how big of a moment that was for me. Because, like I said, I grew up watching Tommy Dreamer in ECW and, and WWE. And the fact that I got to, you know, take his finisher and kick out of it was, I mean, that was a big deal, so, 
I was really excited about that. One thing about Tommy Dreamer is his selling. I think that's why he's had such a sustainable career and why he's as highly credited as he is. The art of selling, ooh. What is with the nut shots in this match? Uh-oh. Wait, is this where it is? Two, three. And I win. One, two, three. I mean, I won cheap, but I won. Again, the, the fact that I was able to not only face Tommy Dreamer and not only face Tommy Dreamer in a hardcore match, but the fact that I faced him and I was able to actually win against him was, I mean, a gigantic honor like I was talking about earlier. Um, definitely one of, like, the best moments of my career thus far. And the, just to be able to do that, again, was... Unforgettable. But like I was saying, like, it was just because, uh, it, the reason why he's had such a sustainable career is because he's so, um, he's such a good seller. Like, the fact, he, he makes it so realistic and fun to watch. You feel real empathy for him, so the fact that he was able, like, he was doing that for me was, again, I keep on saying this a lot, but it was a huge honor. Uh-oh, we got GQ. Uh, so a little bit more of the backstory. During the Battle Royal, GQ and I were the last competitors in the match. We were co-winners, so to say. So he got the same contract that I got. He went to cash in after I cashed in. And that's why you see me literally running out the door right now. And that is actually a true story. I completely, completely ran out of the building and into the parking lot. They tried to interview me there and I just ran away. I think I went across the street actually. I actually had a couple of fans follow me. Uh, <laughs> but I thought it was a pretty uh, funny moment in and of itself. The fact that like now that I've cashed in and I have somebody else who wants to cash in on me, um, better get the hell away from this situation. So that was my match with Tommy Dreamer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully I can give you a little bit of a, of a backstory and a little bit of trivia that maybe you didn't know prior to watching this match. Again, I just want to reiterate, and I've said it like probably a million times by this point during this match, but it was a huge, incredible honor for me to wrestle Tommy Dreamer in those situations for the Clash Championship and a hardcore match. And something that was, it will never be forgettable for me. It was something that I'm always going to hold very, very close to my heart. Um, I made sure I told Tommy Dreamer after the match, I'm like, hey man, like this is such a big thing for me. Thank you for doing everything that you did for me in this match. And uh, every time I see him, you know, I always give him, a, I always give a moment to actually just thank him and let him know how much he's meant to me in my career so far. So if you want to reach out to me on social media, you can contact me on Facebook at Justin Main, Instagram at Justin Main Official. You can contact me on Twitter at Justin Main Off or Snapchat at Justin Main Off as well. If you'd like to reach out to me via email, my email is justinmainofficial at gmail.com. That's probably the best way to get a hold of me for bookings. Or if you just want to just ask me a question or whatnot, that's another great way. So again, hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, uh, the match. Hopefully you enjoyed my commentary. And I'll see you for episode three next time. Stay starstruck.